not your snacks. Well, Goldie Horn says forgiveness is important when it comes to men because they are built differently to women. The 71-year-old actress who was speaking about previous relationships told the Radio Times men are designed to spread their seed. That's how they propagated the world, so forgiveness is important. Laura Macon Isherwood has more. I didn't mean to break you. Katie Price famously forgave husband Kieran Haler when he cheated on her with her best friend, Jane Pountney. And Tess Daly stayed with husband Vernon Kay after the sexting scandal with Rianne Sugden. But should women just accept cheating as part of male DNA? Well, Hollywood actress Goldie Hawn believes infidelity is down to testosterone. The actress has been with husband Kurt Russell for 33 years, no problems there, but says she wouldn't want male hormones running through her veins, and when it comes to cheating and forgiveness, it's up to women how they handle it. Laura Macon Isherwood, Good Morning Britain. Well, joining us now to talk about this is journalist Harriet Minton, Professor Eric Anderson, who covers masculinity, sexuality and sport at the University of Winchester. Is that a subject? Yeah, it is, yes. Are you, are you allowed? Are you allowed? Think about the relationship between masculinities and sexualities, and then, of course, the epitome of masculinity is what? Sport. Right, but are you allowed to, ha to lecture on masculinity anymore? Do the non-binary community allow this? Masculinities. Ah, OK, OK, got it. Is okay. that part of the subject title, masculinities? Yes. How many masculinities well, are there? Well, Pierce is clearly a different type of masculinity than I am. Really? Yeah, there's oh, all sorts of masculinities. Then. Mike well, Tyson is clearly different than Leonardo DiCaprio or Brad Pitt, even though... Why would you, why would well, you make assumptions? Well, there's different types of men. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and there's different types of masculinities, just like there's different types of femininities. OK. Women aren't all the same, are they? OK, so Goldie Hawn you know, says men... We're going to come back to this. It's all yeah. plays in the Goldie Hawn says thing. men are all the same. They're, they're designed to go and have lots of children... Uh, which means that it is in their genes to cheat. Testosterone-fueled and... beasts who mm. want to spread their seed. Eric, what Regolihan is right is to say that men, for the most part, not all men, but many men, are designed to have sex with more than just one person. There's a strong biological urge to do this. What Goldihan is missing out on is that women also have the same drive to have sex with multiple people. They might do it more discreetly, they might do it during certain times of the month compared to men, and they might want more emotionality with that relationship, but human beings are not a monogamous species. All right, Harriet? I think that's a massive generalisation of all men and all women. Maybe our hormones are designed for us to not be monogamous, but we've created a society which says, actually, we work better when we are. But when that, we're in that relationships is the problem. where we talk... Is it, though? It is the problem. But that seems to have worked for thousands and thousands of years, right? So it's uh, kept us no, as a society No, mono monogamy together. is a new invention. We've only been expecting monogamy in the last 150 years. But what happens when we say to people, this is what we expect and this is how we expect you to behave, so if you're not going to behave like that, that's OK, but just do it behind our back. We're okay. going to forgive it. Harry, let me ask you then, wh where do you sit on gender neutrality? <laughs> I'm all for gender neutrality. I'm all for saying to you, well, like, on, this happens on, but, for men but, and for women, but, but which why? Eric but why, did. But why, just by your argument just now, isn't that conflicting with your position? No, I think I said that we can't say all men and all women because we're different, because we're on a whole spectrum, mm. because people behave in different ways. But what we have is a society which says, actually, do you know what, it's OK, boys, boys, it's OK for you to do this because we know boys will be boys. You can't help yourself. That's your testosterone talking, poor you. Mm. Do you think that monogamy is a good thing or a bad thing? I think monogamy in the right relationship where two people both agree with it and everyone's okay is a good thing. So and if actually, one person doesn't agree with it in the relationship and wants to go out and cheat, is it okay? No, I don't think it is because you're setting up a contract essentially with two people where one person is going against the rules of that contract. If you have two people that say, do you know what, we want to have an open relationship, mm. we're both happy to sleep with other people, that's fine. But if you've got one person who believes that the contract works in a certain way and another person who is going out and voiding that... That's just... I've got to say, there's, 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 there's two right. problems with this contract. Mm. The first is, it's socially compelled. Mm. We enter relationships because society says we must. If we, if we say to a partner, if we say, well, I'm really interested in you, but, you know, I don't think I'd like to be in a monogamous relationship. That's the end of that yeah. relationship. Well, isn't it the same argument? And we're compelled the same... by stigma. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, point, if you say that you desire taboo, to be in an it? open Harry, relationship, Harry, here's it's my... highly stigmatized. Right, here's my point. The gender-neutral brigade, of which you're one, <laughs> right, believe that it should be absolutely allowed to be... Because it's... It, it, why Do should you think we... it is? Way... So, oh, hang on. Are we saying that the gender-neutral brigade believe it should be allowed to sleep with anyone? No, no, no. You're missing my point. Totally the gender-neutral brigade believe they should not be bound by normal convention. Right? They do not think they should be having to live up to society's norms. You 
have just used the counter argument about monogamy. Why should monogamy, which is an Thank established you. thing in life, right, an established because societal norm? Because I'm not norm, saying that monogamy is an established societal norm. What I'm saying is why should that people we not created... ignore it? By your by your argument about gender neutrality, which is why should we abide by the rules of convention or society? Think... Why should people yeah. be monogamous? Seriously. Why should why should we not be free of social prejudice right. to seek out alternative relationships? I think one of the reasons we should have monogamy, monogamy is so that women can speak, possibly. And so, <laughs> I would Good say, point. Good point. <laughs> I would say it's not that monogamy is a social convention, therefore we should obey it. What I'm saying is that actually people like it. People enter monogamous relationships because they have a feeling of security, of self worth, of love. Mm. They want there it. There is one problem. And so with why this. are we then saying, do you know what? You okay, can have Harriet, that, but that's just not how humans are. Harry, there is one problem with this is that Goldie Horn herself was not monogamous. Yes. <laughs> because her ex husband just came out with a biography revealing she had multiple affairs, including Warren Beatty. And she, in fact, this, only this week admitted the Warren Beatty one. So, so Goldie herself, I don't think he's, she's not putting us a look. I had a hot date yeah. with Goldie Horn, by the way. I took her to the White oh, House. Full disclosure. I took her to the White House <laughs> Correspondents' Dinner in 2012. We had a fabulous night. I picked her up from a hotel in our limo. We had champagne in the bar. I took her for dinner. And? And we went to a party after we had a husband. Did you double check with her partner? It ended uh -huh. monogamously for both of us. Uh -huh. uh, but yes, together monogamously. But she has an extraordinarily good relationship, and I suspect monogamous, with a man who's not her husband. But He's she a has a good relationship with him because they've obviously had conversations, they've worked through it. She's really open about the kind of couples therapy they've done before, mm. that they've talked about it. They've set out their boundaries and decided what works for them. What is not okay is when one person sets out a boundary and says this is what I want from a relationship and somebody ignores that boundary and then tries to blame it on the fact that it's just their hormones. Yeah. The problem is not, it's not exclusively men either. It is absolutely not exclusively men. The problem is when somebody commits cheating in a relationship, women are two or three times more likely to end the relationship because of cheating than men. No, let's be clear. Women so are not is, ending the relationship a, because of cheating. There is Women a cultural are ending phenomena the that says... Because the man lied to them. That is where the lie... But, but, but the point is, when the woman lies, men are less likely, significantly less likely, to end the relationship. And what I think Why is, probably, is that? I mean, because, because men because have men a greater cowards? understanding that sex can just be sex. That just because one has sex with somebody outside the relationship, it doesn't mean that they fail to love or respect their I partner. I feel a bit like I'm so like, I feel like I'm in the 1970s. <laughs> 1970s, we Women didn't have the science. Today, the science. Today, we know the science. Only men understand the true meaning of sex? What I didn't say men, only men understand. There's lots of feminists who are pro-polyamory, who are pro-open pro relationships. So this isn't just a male-female thing. And so what the problem is, people enter into relationships with good faith that they're going to be monogamous, mm. but they get tired of having the same sex oh. over and over oh. and over. Oh, come year on. After year. Women, too. We also too. get tired Women of having too. the same conversations. Yes, we get we tired of looking at the same well, things. That's right. You've made so we see, that you so want we to seek be with that novel someone. things. We and seek different funny. conversations have and different people. have a conversation with somebody which <laughs> and says, this is where our relationship is, okay. therefore we should change Eric, it. Don't yes. just lie to Eric, them. Eric, let me just ask you about gender neutrality. Someone raised a very interesting point here. We've got a police force in Northampton that is bringing in gender neutrality, right? You, you can be a non-binary police officer, mm. which to me means you have to have eventually non-binary criminals who identify as non-binary. Well, uh, you, you don't have to. Well, but Cri the criminals have the choice to represent their gender any way right, they but desire. But if, if a criminal wants to be non-binary, they have to be put in a non-binary prison, for example. Why would it be male or female? Someone raised a very interesting point, though, which is it doesn't just apply to gender this. It can also apply, obviously, to identifying yourself in terms of your skin colour, which is a societal norm. As one guy said here, uh, called Reese, do non-binary police policies you're, mean... You're stuck on this. Let's get back to monogamy. No, no. <laughs> no. This is yesterday's no, episode. No, no, Once you... Piers is stuck no, on something, he won't so. be switched. I'll decide what I'm stuck on. <laughs> and you lecture in masculinity, so yes. you have a very... Uh, yes, I do. Yes. ...interest in this. If I got arrested, this guy says, can I choose not to identify myself as a black man if it comes to race? In other words, where do you take the logical extension of gender neutrality? It basically means, rather like with monogamy, Harriet, <laughs> you don't have to abide by any conventional rules of society. You can just throw them all up in the air. We should have the freedom to define our own selves, whether that be our gendered selves, our sexual selves. We should have the cultural freedom to define our own relationship So types. a white man could identify as a black man? If a white man wants to identify as a black man, and he wants to mark such on a form, it shouldn't be a crime. Are you serious? It shouldn't be a crime. Eric, it should just be wrong, shouldn't it? Obviously, a white man you, is not a black you man. Can, you can judge it as wrong, but just like cheating on your partner is not a criminal offence. 
It should not be a criminal Harry, offence. Harry, should a black man be able to identify as a white man? Do you know what, Piers? I don't know the answer to that, but I really like the fact that we're having a conversation about it and we're questioning it. Yes, we're questioning I agree with that. questioning all of these aspects that yep. we have taken for granted. Yep. But what neither of us is saying is when you are deliberately lying to someone, when you are deliberately defrauding them, as we're talking about in relationships, mm. people do when what they if cheat you on their okay, partner... But, but, taking your argument, if you marry somebody and they think they're marrying a man and then half within the marriage you identify suddenly as non-binary... It doesn't happen not, suddenly, by are the you way. Not, are you not lying? Well, You've not been living a lie? Absolutely, and I think a lot of people who will tell you that they have been through any form of transition have had to spend a lot of their time pretending to be something different. But it seems to me, Harry, people change. People change on monogamy as well. Change change monogamy as well. Harry, Harry, you're, you're here on your high horse about monogamy, which because yeah, it's socially that. conventional, and yet you don't, and that you don't want anything else to be socially conventional. I'm you not on my high horse about monogamy. I'm on my high horse about lying. That's what I'm on my high horse about. I'm on my high horse about lying to your partners and then trying to. Okay. So, let me, let me ask you, so let me ask you again then, if a black person identifies as white, are they not lying? I don't know, Piers. I don't know. Do you know. Well, I'm Pierce, not let's ask Harry this. Do How you have you girlfriends that you share emotional things with that you've not told... I'm assuming you're straight, I don't know you are. That you've not told your boyfriend or <laughs> Can't husband. Can't make assumptions. No. Uh, well, actually, I haven't got a boyfriend or husband, so I couldn't tell that. In the past, in the past... Have you ever had girlfriends that you share emotional secrets <laughs> with that you haven't shared with your current boyfriend or husband? Do you know what? I'm not trying to So that's a yes. And the answer is no. That's a yes. That's cheating. That's emotional cheating. That's violating the contract. I can see that this discussion is going to carry on in the green room. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> we've got to move on. But I, in the meantime, am now. now identifying as a black non-binary. Uh, so, oh and apparently goodness. that's where fine. Where does this end with you? Well, where does it end? Apparently that's ne fine. Never on this Harriet sofa, doesn't apparently. doesn't think that's a lie, so I'm allowed to do it. I no, am now officially... Harriet said she didn't know, which well, is a perfectly not... reasonable how thing to say not, in some debates. How can you debates? not know if somebody who's white says they're black if that's not a lie? Of because course. you called I'm her out on public, the, on national giving, television without no. giving her time to think about it, no, that's why. because yeah. I'm giving you the option to choose for yourself. You don't have an option about being black or white. You are black or you're white. You're male. Oh, 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 oh. I don't my children have an are neither black or white. It is competition time what? now. My children are Andy's neither black in or white. Miami. What are your children? There's a combination, you know. It's not just polarized no, I know that. Opposites. I know that. I'm talking about people who are black and are white, Can identifying I... as the opposite. I need... It's obviously oh, well, well, ridiculous. I... I Look need, at my children I'm really sorry. I have are. to bring you this to an end because Andy can tell you how you can win a hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> I'm also four foot tall and identify.